So I figured I would do another poem just because um, I'm seemingly not so much in a good mood, but a a good place for um, for doing this um, because I'm feeling really uh, just kind of exhausted. So it's almost like. I'm working with a skeleton crew in my head and so there's not a whole lot going on and so it's easier to concentrate on reading I'm, I'm not good at reading um, even shit that I've wrote myself and read several times over to the point that I have it almost like memorized like three quarters memorized if I try to read it I'll mess up a whole lot but when I did sick, I just had to do it once. Uh, doing wanton, I I fucked up a lot. Um, I had to start over at least six times um, when I was reciting that poem, and even then, I messed up in the middle and I had to cut it. But for sick, it just I mean I kind of stumbled a little bit, but it wasn't bad enough that I needed to start over. So I figured I would um do another one uh i have not a a lot but a good portion of my poems are are centered around mental health of course um, because a lot of poetry is the reflection of the mind and uh, my mind is packed with fucking cotton balls and vomit. So, this one, I don't remember what the fuck this one's called. I have no clue what this is called. And I definitely titled it because I title everything that I write. Facebook got rid of notes, and notes is what I use to, um, you know, put my poetry out. So I started using life events instead because it comes up as like something that's not just a regular post. I wanted to, to stand out as something that's not just, you know, me saying stupid shit or shit posting or horny posting. I have horny posts all day long. I want to do there in town too. I might do there in town as well because um, I just really like that one and that's a pretty recent one. Um, this might be a note. This is probably a note. And that's why I can't I can't fucking find it. Um, so yeah, I don't know what this is called. I'll uh, put the title in the description when I figure it out. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, because I want to. I wrote this probably... at the beginning of last year. No, no, it couldn't have been the beginning. It had to have been like maybe around October of last year when I got back from disaster relief because um, my life was in a fucking shambles. All right, my bad, y'all. I um, recited the poem wrong. Somehow uh, a sentence got transposed where it wasn't supposed to be and um, it's fucked up. So I came back from my, my run, and that's why it's darker now. But I wanted to redo it and just sloppily just plop it into the middle of this video. Uh, so the name of it, I got the name, is Telomania. I can feel parts of me that should never be touching. Too goddamn much where once there was nothing. A void has been filled, yet one is created. Addiction to friction can never be sated. I want it to hurt. I want to go pale. I want it to feel like I'm going through hell. It's easy to hurt, but too hard to tell. Unless I go weak and my bones become frail. It's a trap that I've set. But when I become prone to eating the crumbs that I used to find home, each journey kills a small part of myself. Yet I weather the squalls into parts so well known. I need it to sting. I need it to sear. Like a hot iron pushed into my ear. It's easy to scream, to bounce in your fear. 
You can tell the whole world, but no one will hear. It's a special brand of pain I feel. Fills me up until I spill. Defying my nature through sheer force of will, I pick up my wounds because I don't want to heal. That's emo as fuck. I kind of don't like it anymore. Like after hearing it aloud. But the first part is really the the catalyst. The first part is the most important part. I fucking hate. I hate. 